interests me about the Rolly keyboards is that they simply offer more control using MPE just as polyphonic controllers. You know, on this patch, which is like a, a pretty simple cipher patch by F expansion, um, the, the, the more I press it, pressure is just like the repeat rate. But that's polyphonic, so. kind of uh, textures that are very alive because each note is being controlled polyphonically, right? So like the, the pressure on each finger is, is, is controlling the patch in different ways. Um, so that one, as I said, the, the pressure is mapping to uh, uh, an envelope that's looping and the harder I press it, the faster it loops. I mean, it's a very simple idea, um, but you can also take those, the, you know, the same um, modes of expression, pressure, um, the pitch glide, all that stuff, and map it to things that aren't quite as obvious, like this patch. Um, I recorded an amazing singer singing um, each note up, up a scale, and then the harder I press on the seaboard block, the further along in the sample, we hear, right? So if I press very lightly, um, you hear the beginning of the sample. And then as I press, we move along in the sample. Uh, again, that's polyphonic. I became interested in a style of microtonal composition uh, called spectral music. And the, the idea behind that is that you can analyze an acoustic sound and pick apart the partials that make up that sound. Any sound can be divided into uh, a set of sine tones that make up that sound. So, so sounds are complex. Any, any given acoustic sound is a complex sound made up of simpler frequencies. And because uh, those pitches are exact frequencies taken from an acoustic sound, they are inherently microtonal in, in that they don't fall into uh, our 12-tone Western scale. That allows me to sort of venture into these otherwise uncharted sonic territories for me that are um, based upon acoustic sound, so they have a structure, even though they're microtonal. They're not just kind of randomly dark and microtonal. They have a, a, an inherent structure because it comes from nature. So, you know, just as an example, um, this sound is a, it's an Ebo on my dulcimer. Um, so I took that, I analyzed it, made a patch in, in Max MSP that gives me the the uh, the partials for any given sound, right? So these are a bunch of different sounds that I've analyzed. So that was my original sound, and then um, I'll play, replay it, and then that could turn into. Actually, this is a moment of beauty, right? Like these are very consonant. But then as I bring in other partials, you can you can kind of play it. Um, so that's what I really began began to explore. Um, so using, you know, using MPE just as a pure way of uh, synthesizing these sounds and also uh, the Roly Rise and uh, Seaboard to, to control these sounds. This form of microtonality, when I discovered this idea, it's like I'd been looking for it all along. It allows me this, this like sound universe that is, you know, can be very dark, can be very beautiful. <laughs> 